Hi, this is Jim Bennett from AAA Metal Suppliers. In a few minutes I'm going to show you how you do System A using stainless wire. Examine the components in front of you, split grommets, thimbles, saddles, ferrules and of course the eye to eye turnbuckle. You will also need some 7x7 wire rope. First of all, you will need to attach the saddles to the post. To do so, make up a simple template using a scrap piece of board Next, you will need to make the correct spacings for your wires. Current BCA regulations require that your wires should be spaced at 80mm centres. Here you see the person marking them out. After marking the 80mm centres, you will need to place the saddles ready for drilling them out. In this case, the hole centers are 20 millimeters either side of the wire centers. Once you have completed the drilling, you'll be then ready for attaching your template onto your anchor post. Next, mark the center of your post. A handy tip is to mark that distance on a tri-square. Once you have the centre of the post, you will be ready to clamp on your template. Once it is clamped in position, you will be ready for drilling your holes for future attachment of the saddles. The holes that are currently being drilled are the ones which the saddles will screw into. Note 20mm either side of the centre line, ready for screwing the saddles onto the anchor post. It is a good idea to attach the saddles with only one screw at this stage as they will need to be loose to allow the wire to be fed into them later. Once you have done all your saddles, you are ready to move on placing the wires through the intermediate post. If you wish, you can make up a new template for marking the distances that the wires run through in your intermediate post. This distance will be exactly the same as that marked out on your saddle template post. After making your template, it is important that it is positioned on the centre of your intermediate post. Mark the centre of your post for attaching your drilling template. A handy tip is to mark that distance on a tri-square. Once you have transferred this distance onto your post, you will be ready for attaching your drilling template. The template for drilling will then be securely clamped onto this post positioned on the centre of your intermediate post. A handy tip is to drill halfway through the post and then to relocate the template on the other side of the intermediate post and drill through. 
This will ensure that the wires both enter and exit square to the post. The important part now is to work out the overall lengths required for your wires. Here we see the person measuring the inside to inside distance required to cut the wires. Using a pair of parrot beak wire cutters, cut your wire to this length. Next, feed the wires through your intermediate posts. Once you have done this, you'll be ready for putting the thimbles and ferrules on the end of your wires. First, mark your wire with a permit marker 85mm from the end. Next, slide a swage ferrule over the wire and loop the wire back through the swage ferrule. Place a thimble inside the loop and squeeze up the ferrule. You will notice the black texture mark showing. Place the swage ferrule between the jaws of the hand crimper and squeeze the handles together. You are now ready for doing the other end with the II turnbuckle. To swage the thimble onto the eye of the II turnbuckle it is a similar process, except that the thimble will need to be opened up just to pass over the eye. As before, mark your wire 85mm from the end and squeeze the ferrule up to the thimble. Once it is done, you are ready to crimp the swage ferrule. Place it between the jaws of the hand crimper and squeeze the handles together. Attaching the looped swage end onto the saddle is easy. Pass it through the saddle, then screw the other end of the saddle to the anchor post. Next, attach the eye over the saddle and screw the saddle firmly to the post. Your wire run is now complete and ready for tensioning. To tension your wire run, rotate the turnbuckle until the wire becomes firm. When you have achieved sufficient tension, you'll need to tighten up the lock nuts on either end. This will stop the turnbuckle from coming undone. If you wish to insert grommets into your intermediate post, you will need a 9mm hole. Open the grommet with a suitable implement in this case we're using a biro, hold it to the wire, remove the biro and slide the grommet along the wire and plug it into the post. Remember, AAA Metal Suppliers for all your balustrading needs.